the president of South Africa hiding a criminal secret? We'll be talking about the shocking truth about Cyril Maposa and the Parapara scandal that will leave you stunned. Well, a new wave of controversy has rocked the African National Congress, the ANC, as tensions rise over President Cyril Maposa's leadership. Well, the cause of the uproar is none other than the Parapara scandal. A story that has caused a rift within the ANC and among South Africans. What well, the scandal involves the alleged discovery of undeclared foreign currency at Ramaphosa's farm, leading to accusations of money laundering and raising serious questions about his fitness to lead. Now the ANC's provincial leadership has come forward calling Ramaphosa a criminal and demanding that he step down. I mean, what does this actually mean for the ANC's future? And can Ramaphosa hold on to his position amidst this internal crisis? Leave your thoughts just down in the comment section. While well, Ramaphosa's rise to power was initially seen as a hopeful shift towards rooting out corruption within the ANC. Following the highly controversial presidency of Jacob Zuma, many South Africans believed Ramaphosa would be the leader who could restore the integrity of the ANC and bring much needed transparency. However, his tenure has not been without its challenges. The Palapala scandal which involves the discovery of large sums of foreign currency on his private farm in 2020 has fueled speculation about his personal integrity. Why Ramaphosa has denied any wrongdoing, the controversy has given his political opponents within the ANC ammunition to question his leadership. Well, let's actually talk about the Palapala scandal because believe me, maybe there are some of you guys that might not know a thing about it. Well, this scandal involves around uh, or revolves around allegations that millions of rand in undeclared foreign currency were hidden at Ramaphosa's Palapala farm. This money was reportedly stolen during a robbery in 2020, but the event was not immediately reported to authorities. Instead, a private investigation was allegedly conducted and critics argue that Ramaphosa sought to cover up the incident to avoid scrutiny. These actions have led to accusations of money laundering and gross misconduct. Why the president has claimed that the funds were legitimate proceeds from a cattle sale, many remain skeptical about the true nature of the incident. Well, Becky Mtolo, the ANC's provincial secretary, has taken a firm stance against Ramaphosa. Well, in a speech that has sent shockwaves through the party, Mtolo branded Ramaphosa a criminal and argued that he has no right to lead the ANC in light of the scandal. These statements reflect growing dissent within the party as provincial leaders have become increasingly vocal about their disapproval of the president's leadership. While the call for Ramaphosa to step down represents a significant challenge to his authority, raising the question of whether the president will be able to maintain his position amidst these allegations. While the internal division of Ramaphosa's presidency comes at a critical time for the ANC, with elections on the horizon, the party needs unity more than ever. However, the Palapala scandal has exposed deep fractures within the ANC's leadership. Provincial leaders like Mtolo have gained significant traction and their call for accountability may actually resonate with a public tired of ongoing corruption scandals. While this raises the possibility of Ramaphosa facing a leadership contest or even being ousted from his position if the pressure continues to build. While the Palapala scandal not only threatens Ramaphosa's political career but also the ANC's stability. As the scandal unfolds, many are left wondering if this could be the event that leads to a significant power shift within the party. 
while the ramifications of this controversy stretch beyond the ANC. If Ramaphosa steps down, it could trigger a political crisis, leaving a vacuum of power in one of Africa's most influential political organizations, that is the ANC. Additionally, the scandal calls into question the very reforms Ramaphosa promised to implement, leaving many questioning about or whether corruption can truly be eradicated from the upper echelons of South African politics. Guys, what's your take concerning this? Do you actually support this particular move? Do you think uh, indeed Ramaphosa is a criminal or maybe Ntolo actually overstepped his boundaries? Leave your thoughts just down in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.